Send out this link, everybody. Bear with me. I can't really uh, see right now just because I'm sending out the links here about the live. I've got to plug it in so we can have some power here. Otherwise, we're going to run out. That is the wrong cord. I need this cord. It's connected to this over here. Bear with me when we get loaded up and get going. This one actually went pretty smoothly. I think that's good right there. Okay, that's good. Good. The oven is uh, the oven is set. Sure. Lighting check. Sound check. Turn that light down a little bit so it doesn't blind me. There we go. I think that's a little better. A little bit of light, but not too overpowering on the eyes, anyways. It's better. 
Welcome everybody. If this is your first time to uh, Uncle Drew's Kitchen, I thought I'd introduce myself. I am Uncle Drew. We're baking tonight. It's a late night baking session because I've got some pie crust left. I just brought it out of the fridge. So it is thawing and uh, I'm going to get to work here and get these peeled up right quick. So I'm not using my drill tonight. I thought about using my drill right there, but not today. Oh! I know some people may tune in just to see the drill, the drill being used to peel, but not tonight. section this time. So I had uh, got an easy recipe for my pie crust on my channel. It's in a playlist actually. You can see a playlist that's called Everything Pies. And I'm just starting to build that one up because I was lacking on the baking production side. Hey Arturo, glad you joined. I'm just mentioning I'm building up the playlist for baking and for um, pies. I was neglecting baking for quite a while on the channel to get other recipes up there as quick as I could. But now we're going to focus this week on some baking, some pies. Uh, also, because I went apple picking last week, I've got to use these. So I've already got one up there for apple pie. Dylan, hello. Glad you're joining. So you can certainly check that one out. This is going to be the similar recipe to what I had up there already for the pie, but I'm going to be making these little tarts. I know a lot of people ate the pies. All the pies were eaten on the weekend. Uh, they did not go to waste at all. I've kind of got a mixture here of apples that I'm using tonight. Uh, I also have a video out there where I, I peel apples using my drill. Um, it's faster than this. This is not, it's not too bad, but the drill certainly adds a little bit of fun because I don't really have any home projects going on. I haven't in a while, so I haven't been able to use my drill, and I love using all my power tools. So I, uh, I was peeling a lot of apples on the weekend. Um, I think about four times as many as what I've done here tonight. So I want to go a little bit quicker and I thought, why not bust out my drill? So that's on there right now. You can go check that out. It's a short. It's only about 20 seconds, but uh, it added a little bit to the cleanup time. You can see here when I peel, typically I use a fork. And I put a fork in it. I know the saying of the old stick a fork in it is done. In this case, it really is. It, it helps. I can go a little bit quicker peeling like this. And I don't need to worry really about gouging my thumb. And that's my main concern all the time when I'm peeling. Uh, these I actually picked them myself. I picked them at an apple orchard uh, last week. What are we, Tuesday today? I think I picked these on it's either Thursday or Friday. I can't remember. I don't know if you can see behind me. I still have a bunch over there. I, I got, uh, I picked up a 20 pound bag and then I had a 10 pound bag uh, that I took from my mom. So I put a few apples. <laughs> yeah, I knew someone was going to ask about the drill. Uh, AB, glad you're joining. Um, there's some impromptu live again baking. The drill I decided to forego tonight. The drill bit though is still back over there. I've actually got a couple of drill bits. So I will say this about the drill. Um, So carbon tip, we don't need this one. This one will not work as well in the drill, of course, because that'll just drill a hole. You need one that, this is what I would normally use. This is a, a one and a quarter inch that I would drill through wood, um, but it is too big for the apples. So 
Right. It's not necessarily something I would say, go ahead and, and use. Um, it's, you've got to be very careful using the drill. You've got to be very careful using the drill. Uh, it is dangerous, I'll say that. So if you're using a drill to peel apples or potatoes, you've got to be ultra careful. Uh, especially that bigger drill bit like that. If, if you ran the drill bit in too far into the apple and somehow you manage to get it sticking out the other end and you're peeling, what do you think is going to happen? That, that peeler's going to go flying. So you really have to be careful. If you're going to be like me and be a jackass and use a drill to do that, um, I think that's why I put at the end of the video that I wouldn't recommend people do that. Because um, it is, it's a little bit dangerous, uh, especially if you don't know how to use power tools. Where's my... If you don't know how to use power tools, I would not recommend doing that. Yeah. <laughs> a few times, Dylan, a few times. A few times. So I was looking all over for my apple core and I couldn't even find that. So I was searching high and dry, couldn't find it. I was in a store, I started looking for another one. I didn't have any in stock. So I go old school and, uh, and we just go without it, which is not, which is not a big deal. I can always find a way. I may actually do a live delivery of these tonight. Of these tarts. Since uh, I was not looking to eat all of them. But that's been known to happen. And I think we have one baker on this chat right now. And uh, I have a feeling he may, he may be watching intently as to what I'm doing tonight. And I'm hoping, actually, AB was going to comment um, on the uh, horizontal format tonight. We've got the horizontal format instead of the vertical. We'll get all these out. So I've got my pie crust already out of the fridge. Uh, I just took that out just before I started up the live, so I can get these apples going first. And then we'll get working on that crust. You know, working with, if I was working with raw chicken like I was earlier tonight, I'm extra sensitive there on cleanliness. Apples were okay. Yeah, this is the, yeah. <laughs> yeah, thanks, AP. Thank you. Yeah, Dylan, I'm with you. I do that as well, um, always. Especially with, like I say, when I'm using raw meats, um, you'll see me on the lives, actually, when I'm doing it on the lives, I, uh, I actually wash frequently. Uh, back in the day working in restaurants, it was big in the chicken industry, of course, cross-contamination. Cross I would have used my bigger cutting board here as well, but that is dirty. I'm constantly doing dishes with the YouTube channel. And I've got a lot of different pots and pans. I have three cutting boards, but of course, the favorite one I used earlier tonight with the chicken, you may be able to see it. I actually believe it's over there in the sink. Yeah, it's standing up in the sink. I'm also trying to keep my eye on the comments tonight and see what's coming through. We don't want to miss any of those, especially to our new, our new viewers at the live sessions. So if you want to check it out on uh, on my channel under the playlist pies and everything, I have the uh, recipe that I've used here for this pie crust. Uh, very basic, very easy, easy recipe. Um, there we go. We've got enough apples now. So because tonight I'm making tarts, you make cutting boards. What I actually want to try and do is get a cutting board something the size of right here. I haven't thought it through yet the whole way. So I'm going to be making a couple different sizes. I'm going to be making one tart right here, and then I've got these little things right here too. <laughs> I 
the immune system. I love, I love uh, the Hewer Sean coming through with the uh, with the immune system right there. So what I'm going to do tonight is I'm going to be doing these in chunks uh, as opposed to slices. Like if I were to make a pie, I'd have these in slices. And of course, it was a topic of discussion on the weekend uh, how thick the slices should be for apple pie. I believe it's uh, chef's preference, baker's preference, but the thinner, I think the thinner the better. I even busted out the apron. What do you guys think about my apron? I, I can't see all the comments that are going on over there. I see a few popping through. So I've got the, uh, the oven's already preheated. So we're ahead of the game over there. Our pie crust is ready. I even preheated my pot behind me because we know the stove takes a little bit longer. I just realized I've got a, a fair amount of apples in here. So if I have extra filling left, I'm just going to store it in the fridge for a couple of days until I make a fresh batch of crust. I'm going to be making, I don't know if you guys have ever had uh, baked apples. So baked apple with uh, in puff pastry. So it's, uh, it's a nice sweet apple inside puff pastry, cinnamon, a little bit of nutmeg, maybe I'm going to add some allspice in there, um, and then some caramel. Caramel sauce on that is fantastic. Yeah. Hope everyone's being nice to each other out there. Everyone washes their hands, I hope, when they go to the bathroom at least. And don't forget, if you can, do me a favor as well. There's a, there's a like button apparently in the, in the bottom left of the, of the, the live session, the chat. So apparently that helps the live grow the audience. So if you could smash the like button down there, hopefully you're, you're liking it if you're still here watching, that would certainly help. I'm with you, Bill. I'm with you. Okay, we're almost ready on the apples. Turn that stove back on so we're ready to go. And also part of the reason why uh, tonight I'm doing tarts instead of pie is that they're going to bake. They're going to bake a little bit quicker. You'll see. Thanks, Bill. I appreciate you. I'm also looking on a smaller screen tonight again. If the, if the picture freezes, just throw a comment down there so I know. That means I've got to plug in the battery. Oh, did I save it? I think I saved it. All right, we're set. That's good. We're going to give this a quick little wipe down so we can get ready for our crust. This isn't good, I need a garbage bag. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna put it right in here for now. We'll have to uh, have to get the cleaning later. Okay, good. Butter. Just going to cut the butter and then we'll bring you over to the uh, pot while we're adding everything in. So, if there are any bakers out there, the ghost Jesus, the ghost Jesus rises again. About a quarter of a cup. If there are any bakers out there, if you think I'm doing anything wrong, I want to hear from you. Throw a comment down there. Don't be shy. Ole! Ole! Okay, let's get our let's get our butter in the pot. Done. Butter in the pot. We're rocking. We're rolling. Love it.
I love the Olay, Olay, Olay. The Olay chance. We gotta make sure that dough doesn't get too warm. All right, our butter, nice. Excellent. Our apples ready to go. So I'm adding in tonight cinnamon, nutmeg, sugar, a pinch of salt, not a punch. Vanilla. And I have a special, I may have left them in the trunk. I may have to run to the trunk because, oh no, no, I brought them. I brought them. I want you got for this tonight. I'm going to add some chopped pecan. Uh, Ghost Jesus, I think if there's a jersey riding on this, it should be with that blonde wearing that little Habs jersey. That's what I think. That's what I think. So I'm going to use all brown sugar tonight as opposed to a mixture. I think Ghost Jesus, you remember last time I need a cup here, give or take. Butter. Butter's good. Okay, I'm going to bring the camera over. Time to bring the camera over to the pot. Our butter's melted. We'll get you guys right in on the action, especially since we're, we're rocking the horizontal camera tonight. That's the wall. We don't need to see that. Whoa, we don't want our butter to burn by any means. I did, I, uh, I did, I just saw that actually, oh geez, when was it? It popped up on, uh, on Facebook. There we go. Our apples are in, as Mr. Ramsey would say, apples in. Get these going. Coated in that nice, healthy butter. This is, I think, a big moment for AB to be watching. Oh, I lost an apple. AB watching uh, a fellow baker at work. It was. That was a good road trip, Ghost Jesus. I remember that trip. It was a good one. I There was one I saw, another photo as well, of, uh, of a guy at, uh, I can't remember if it was Schwartz's or not, with a nice smoked meat sandwich going on. Okay, that's looking good. Sugar in. Now here's another one with regards to the nutmeg. A little uh, difference of opinion. Are you getting hammered over there, AB? So I'm going to use about half a teaspoon of nutmeg. I'll get this mixed in. I can already smell the nutmeg. <laughs> this is great. We'll get that heat up now since we've got our apples in. Our butter's good, our sugar. And now I need my cinnamon. Who's incinerating you? What, what am I missing here by, by looking at my pots? I, what did I miss? What did I miss? If I miss something good, I'd like to know. I couldn't see it all. Cinnamon, in. Groovy, baby, groovy. Get these nice and lathered up. Get our heat a little bit higher. I just want to be careful not to burn my sugar. So it's again, it's a guessing game with this stove of knowing what it's going to do and when. BG, glad to see you. Uh... Well, the Wellington, the Wellington is not yet. The Wellington is not yet, but it is 
I've made a, a pack for myself. I need to empty the freezer of what I've got, which won't take too long, maybe another seven to 10 days. And then I can get right into new dishes, like a Wellington. Pinch of salt, not a punch. Nice. Looking solid. I may add in a little bit more cinnamon. Uh, cinnamon, yeah, Stevie Wonder, sure. Someone sing, I call to say I love you. Little bit of vanilla. I think you guys are gonna be um, Happy to hear the new update. We are about to break through. Oh, now I see what he's talking about. Did I miss all the cinnamon? And I didn't know it. Is that what happened? Is that why you were saying that? Sugar. Well, not sugar, but apparently I need to add some more cinnamon now because I admit, now I get the comment. It makes sense. I didn't see it on the other side there. Yeah, we're... Uh, we're about to break through 3,500. The Stone Cold Tribute Ribs, Stone Cold Steve Austin that is, that video seemed to start catching fire yesterday. Today the video on the apple peeling with the drill started to catch fire. Yeah, I know you guys missed the other one because it was an impromptu live. I went live at about, uh, about three and a half hours ago, about five o'clock, 5.30 Eastern time. Um, I had chicken. I found chicken at the grocery store, 30% off again. So I kicked it right off. I kicked it up. Use the same type of KFC spices again. Okay, this is looking solid. I'm going to have to test an apple in a second. Where's that fork? We'll use that fork. That's a really good flavor right there. Just waiting another minute, bringing that to a boil. For those apples. That, that filling is tasting really good. Well, I, I would hope so, goes Jesus for him. He's, that's one of his, it's got to be what he grew up on, seeing the Wellingtons. Gotta be. All right. Large and in charge on these apples. This is great. Nice. I like it. Every Sunday, there it is. Yeah, every Sunday having a Wellington. That's amazing. leftover cinnamon right there okay I'm gonna turn that down now there's no need we got it on the boil so it's good it's smelling I love the smell of this right here yeah the 316 I actually snapped the photo when there were 316,000 views today, I snapped a photo of that because I thought that was pretty cool to go along with Stone Cold, um, the Stone Cold video. It was, it was good timing for that to come through, 316,000. Mm. Bang on. I've got, the, um, I've got the nutmeg. That's good. I need the cornstarch. We're going to thicken that up a little bit. One, two, I'm just over here. I'm going to turn that down again. I'm 
and get our just going to wait for the cornstarch mixture another minute is once I put this in it's only going to be on that heat for 90 seconds so that's our that's our little cornstarch mixture and help thicken that right up I don't think anybody likes a runny apple pie those are nice look at that who says more sugar anyone anyone say more sugar more cinnamon I'll test it again but I think it tastes pretty good right there you're not too far away BG you know I as I say I might I might do a delivery tonight you never know <laughs> there we go last little sprinkle of cinnamon I don't think we can ever have too much cinnamon in there and uh, let's get the cornstarch going watch how quick this thickens up yes all brown sugar tonight I didn't do a mix there's another type of sugar and I can't remember the name of it darn it that I wanted to try and I, uh, I didn't get it tonight and this will thicken up there we go certainly don't want it like cement turn that heat down again the quality of what AB the picture no, this is a homemade pastry, Ghost Jesus. No, no store bought over here. I actually stopped in the grocery aisle tonight to look at it, to remind myself again what they put in there. And there's two or three ingredients I can't even pronounce. So I said that's exactly why we make our own. See how nice and thick that just got right there? Heat off. And we're gonna just give this. I lost an apple, damn it. Perfect. Okay, I'm going to bring the camera back live. We'll take this off the heat. Like it? Right there. Let's move this back. We got to get moving on that pastry now. Okay, there we go. chap who was that I can't I can't tell who left who didn't leave I can see comments but that's about it right now just because I'm trying to uh, get moving on this stuff look at this check this out I think I think you guys need to come in close to watch this We're horizontal let's take advantage of this tonight Oh yeah, that's great. Go right around the waist. Love it. All that sugar. I'm going to give these away. I don't know who's going to take them yet. I might bring them to the golf course. We'll see. That's, yeah, that's a lot of, a lot of sugar right there. Okay. We're going to super cool these. In the fridge she goes. All right, ready to go. Yeah, are you loving that one, AB, the apron? So a friend of mine, she actually made it for me. Double digits, by the way. Uh, she made this apron for me, if you can believe that. And um, no, no molasses tonight, AB. Nope. I'm going to get our pecans done and out of the way. Yeah, I 
saw that AB. That was incredible. We, 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 we got there for a minute or two. Uh, we're, certainly, we're certainly growing, that's for sure, on the lives. So I keep this, I don't like this rolling pin either. Uh, there's a lot of stuff in my kitchen that I don't like. I keep it in the fridge right before I'm going to use it on that pastry. I don't know if you have any insight on that, but I find my pastry sticks to this rolling pin a lot. I need a new one. This was a backup rolling pin. I broke my other one. That's the reason why I'm using it. And again, I was looking for another rolling pin. Couldn't find one. Not today anyways. There we go. That is ready. I mean, I'm crossing my fingers right now that everything is going according to plan right here. Seems to be working well. This is the moment of truth with AB watching. We'll do AB. Yeah, thank you for that. I've got to make sure I plug in that other uh, that other one. We don't want to lose picture again. Not like not like the previous evening here. So bear with me while I do that. Okay. to change and put that pastry or sorry the filling in the freezer we need ultra cold ultra fast so okay ready to rock ready to rock yeah I think that's an advantage with uh, with having a B in here I'm actually, now I, now I feel a little nervous. I feel a little nervous with AB watching. So this pie crust I made on, what was it, Tuesday? I made it on Sunday. That's why I just wanted to make sure I used it today. I didn't want to let it go any longer. Magnifying the light too far, I could bring you closer. We're horizontal tonight. We could we could do whatever we want tonight since we're horizontal. Fuck. I knew that was about to fall. I forgot about it. Is that better, AB? Can you see that a little bit clear? As I'm dropping things, but let me know if that's clear for you. And this is the fun part when the uh, when the island starts to shake. So there was also a little bit of a debate. Do we like thin pie crust or thicker pie crust? Try to see AB's comments. Yeah, picture's okay. Okay, great. See that? We're sticking already. I'm going to cardinal sin here. The island shopping, Brad, for sure, though, I want to see Sean get the sludge hammer out on this one first. That's a good thickness. AB, can you see the level of thickness right there? Yeah, exactly. I see, I knew, but with this rolling pin, you know, I had to make an executive decision right there, and I went for it. I got away with it. Oh, 
got to see how many we can how many we can get out of this. Tight right there, you might be able to get. We need a little bit for the overhang. Two, four, six, six plus one. Yeah, six plus one. I've got a little dough left. We can do that. Okay, I think that's gonna. I think that's gonna work. I think that's gonna work. I'm optimistic anyways that I'm cutting it a really good size here. But we'll see in we'll see in a second. Take this one out first and see how we did. Don't stick. Don't stick. Don't stick. Don't stick. I didn't cut it all the way through. It's too gentle. See how we did. Let's see. Make it doesn't need to be perfect. I wasn't looking for the full size. Oh yeah, we're good. Yeah, I'm okay with that right there. I'm okay with that. I'll go a little bit bigger on the others, but that's okay. Yeah. Okay, we gotta be strategic. Absolutely is a pizza cutter, AB. Absolutely. Yeah, pizza cutter. So that fits pretty good with the size that I just did. So I like that. Yeah, that's a good size right there. So we'll stick. We'll stick with that and I'll just crimp. I'll crimp the ends here. Give it a little, a little bit of a design. edges may have just gone a little small again it's okay we've got we've got the right idea for tonight again I'm trying to pick up pace a little bit too so I thought it goes Jesus tonight is he still around yeah absolutely AB I was just debating whether or not I was going to do a, uh, just trying to see if I can manufacture one more. Uh, I was debating whether or not I was going to do a crust on top. To wash that. So this is the part that's a little bit thicker. It actually looks like, yeah, see, I like that better. I like that thicker one better right there. Yeah. Yeah, AB, do you want me to brush it with egg wash first before I put in my apple filling? Normally, I'm just going to go ahead and brush on top if I add a top on there. Just going to fix that guy a little bit more. Edges. Beauty. I don't think I can get any more out of that. Watch this. Cardinal sin again. We're breaking all the rules. I 
think I can get one more out of this. He thinks. Yeah, we're good. We can get one more. Okay, so you like you like before and after. Interesting. I should have enough to get a little bit of a lattice on there, but it's going to be tight. It's going to be tight. Yeah, and these are really with the leftovers that I had for the dough, for the crust. I keep saying dough, I mean crust, of course. And all these pinch off. Yes. It's a little bit deeper than the other. Let's fix that too. If we're gonna, if we're gonna do it, we'll do it right. Okay. So that's all I have to try and do a lattice. Hmm. Interesting. gentle here. Come on, work with me. Everything's getting too hot. We might be able to get two with a lattice. We're just going to have to roll this one out a little bit thinner as well. Just be gentle. I can't wait to get a new rolling pin. Done. Done. I don't understand what that one meant. I don't know what that one meant. I'm trying to play catch up to what you guys are seeing. There are the eggs. That was the eggs that were. We're rocking. What are I? It seems like I'm missing a lot of good stuff tonight. It seems like I'm missing a lot of good stuff. And I'm trying to trying to take a sneak peek. guys can't see anymore because I have the camera back there. Let's try and tilt that up. Ole goes Jesus. Ole. I see you. So this is for uh, AB. I I feel like I've been missing everything though. Whatever's been going on. I haven't seen it. Yeah, we're getting on that brushing part right now. I 
I've got to go through the chat and see exactly what it is that I missed. That makes a lot of sense, A.B. I'm just worried right now if I try to do that, I'll get mixed up with the, the weed killer. So that wouldn't be good. But that, that is a great tip. Might have to make a YouTube short on that. A drone. I could bring it in again. I'll bring it in. This is closest, close to a drone as I could get, I guess. Right there. I think now you can, you can see what's going on. Man, Ghost Jesus, that was the best bone I think anyone could have ever got for a dog. It's coming up on his uh, seven-year anniversary in ten days, I believe it is. Yeah, we're what today? The tenth? Yeah, close by. Good part is our oven is hot and ready to go. Oh, careful, Andrew, careful. I have no idea right now if you guys can still see the picture because I can't look over it yet. Oh yeah, it looks, it's almost like a drone, I guess. Thanks so much, Psychosocial. Okay, let's, let's check out how our filling is. Yeah, okay, not terrible on the filling in terms of if it's cold or hot. Here it comes. I must have missed. I hope you guys, can you guys see that? Let me see if I can tilt that up a little bit, if that helps. I'll know in about 30 seconds if that helped or if it made it worse. Just there. Okay, that looks like it's okay. <laughs> Look at all this sugar. You know, goes Jesus, I thought he was in the grocery store tonight. It's still, it's still hot, unfortunately which isn't good. Um, I was gonna get the, I'm gonna take it from the sides and from the top, because that looks like it should be the coolest versus the bottom of that pot. Now I think we want these flowing to the top. Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. Love it. So now here we go. I'm gonna get a little, a little pecan in there first. Oh, I still got, I still got another touch of what I'm doing here. This is not it. This is not it just yet. Okay, let's see how much of this I'm gonna need right there. About a half, so. 
I'm good to cut those. I'm not going to make the rookie mistake though and cut them all to start. Yeah, that's a good way to start. In fact, let's just do one angle right there. Yeah, that's what we're going to do right there. Let me trim this one. Yeah, I like I like that better. I like that better right in there. I need my Oh shit, see I just turned away. I saw a comment. Okay, so that's good. Let's make sure our big bad boy. Yep, that's gonna be good too. Let's move that over a little bit. One, two. Let's get this one a little bit trimmer. One, two, three. Yeah. Stand her up, pop it in. Pop it in, pop it in, pop it in. Wait until you see all the finishing. It's all about the finish. Those are good. I think we can get one more there, I think. Almost there, boys. I, uh, I tend to agree with you, A.B. Wow, we actually have, we actually have enough. We're going to be able to just make that big one a tad better. This one, to me, looks really solid, really solid. I like that. Okay, now we... There we go. We're good there. Now, any other pieces that we have, we can clean up a little bit with our, with our pizza cutter. Trim it up that way. Trim it up that way. I agree with you. We're, we're close, goes Jesus, to getting that boom button in here. I think AB actually a while back, or it might have been BG, who gave the uh, idea way back when that when the channel is monetized, to be able to do something with the booms. I'll let, uh, I'll let AB explain that one though. I can't remember all the details. Okay. Oh man, my back is freaking sore from that, but we'll keep going. I see why the spray bottle would work better.
definitely easier to put my egg wash on these big ones or this big one I should say than those little ones again more room to work with now Trying to use the crumble here. Yeah, that's a great idea. But here we go. Where's that stuff? I won't do this on each one right now. Let's just make sure that works. There we go. still gonna these are still gonna fit right here no they're not there we go pizza tray saves the day yeah I left I left a couple of baking sheets over at my parents place BG I, I just remember that as I was clanking around Here we go. In the oven they go. Remember that line? Remember the line from Goodfellas? In the fucking oven you're gonna go! <laughs> Whoo! What a mess. Now I can take a look at some of these comments. I want to get up to speed here on what's been going on tonight. Like what have I what have I missed? What have I missed? I gotta, I gotta check out some comments now. Maybe you guys can bring me up to speed here. What, what I missed? Alexa, set a timer twenty minutes. Now you saw that ghost Jesus? Yeah, no, no, no. It was quick. It was quick. It was more because of the camera. A B. I've got to do so many things differently because we're filming. Good. We're good on all this stuff now. In the sink, it's gonna go. So what did I miss? Yeah, so I I've got it right now. That's a that's a good one. I've got it right now at the at four bills. And uh, you're right. I, I should have gone at four and a quarter. Okay. Do a quick little wipe down here. If someone was talking about cleaning hands or something, I can't remember earlier on. <laughs> it kind of looks like it right now, Brad. I didn't get a chance to clean after I did that dinner cooking show either. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a nasty one in here tonight, but that dishwasher is going on minimum once a day right now. Obviously that garbage needs to be emptied, otherwise I'd be using that can right now. Everything is... Whew. So who wants who wants a tart? That's the question. Who wants something from Uncle Drew's kitchen? Yeah, I just spit on my hand right there. I just spit on my hand because they're dry trying to open that bag.
cost whatever we can. All right, what am I missing here? I mean, it's a great idea, Ghost Jesus. Quick door. I want some um, some recommendations. What bottle of wine to crack for 5,000 subscribers? Any recommendations? <laughs> I'm already smelling my bacon. That's a recycling bin. There's another one. All right, what have I missed? So I missed some good comments tonight, huh? Wow. That, that's, uh, that's social media for you, that's YouTube. That's how things go, from what I've seen a lot of the time. <laughs> AB, don't worry, I got you. Is the super, it's a superhuman oven. So I've still got a lot of this uh, slop left. You want to tour the bedroom? Let me go put all those oils and potions away first. on the bed, eh? How do you know I don't already have one up there? <laughs> ah. Oh, that's too funny. AB, what's your take and what's your opinion on cooking your pie shell or your tart shell first and then adding your filling in afterwards? And then putting it back in. What's your take on that one? I'm curious. What What are your thoughts? There's more clanking. What are your thoughts on that one? I still do have that speedo, Boro. I mean, Ghost Jesus. The Ghost The Ghost Jesus is outed. Surely by mistake. pretty darn good so I may add a few more of those afterwards let's see how it goes <laughs> did I use these for anything tonight I, I don't even remember I don't I don't remember everything's going over here everything's going over there tonight cleaning all this tomorrow. So we're close. We're close to these tarts. Close, very close. We've got our drill bits. Oh, this is beautiful. Like we're, this is this is huge. What am I missing? Am I missing any good comments? Alright, well at least we're done cleaning. I lied, there's one more. There's one more. Alexa, how many minutes left on the timer? Oh, it's going down fast. The time's going down fast. I don't want to open the oven. I could crank it up to four and a quarter. The rolling pin like a baseball bat, like in Goodfellas. Did you guys see my uh, my short video today? 
with my uh, little clips from different gangster movies. I'm curious as to your thoughts. If, if you liked that one or if you didn't like that one. As I'm looking at the comments from earlier on. I'm curious if you guys saw that one and your, your thoughts on it. The rolling pin to it. Uh, so yeah, Ghost Jesus. By the way, I was I was gonna buy the. Uh, it just came out. Uh, it just came out, Sean, earlier on. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> uh, <laughs> That's hilarious. Uh, what's that about the Alexa timer? When I'm watching videos actually on my TV, uh, again, I watch these so I can try and improve. And I've asked a question like that for a timer and she starts playing another timer because she's hearing me on the TV. Oh, I don't know what he was, I wasn't sure what he was saying, AB. I'm not, I wasn't sure if he was asking if I wash my hands or, I think he asked if I wash my hands before I started. And I answered yes to that as I, I wash my hands before I start. And I mean, usually quite a few times while I'm cooking too. It's just, but no, would I, would I be washing my hands when I'm chopping vegetable? Like it just doesn't make sense. It's, it almost, it almost brings me to that discussion where people are going to have wash your chicken. Now, if you're, if you're a pro washer and you wash your chicken, I'm not going to judge you, not on camera anyways. But don't wash my chicken. Are you going to get bacteria off your chicken? Anyway, it's like washing. I think your comment was pretty. Uh, on point, I saw that one. Washing in your own house, I mean, yeah, if I was touching raw meat, fish, sure. You know, wash your hands in between, are you scratching your ass? You know, when you're cooking, are you rubbing your, I don't know, what, what people do. So I didn't see anything after that. I just, I, I looked over and I saw some comments, so I don't know what was going on with everybody. Now, there's another feature here, and I was thinking of doing this tonight, AB, maybe I should set this up earlier. Oh, don't even get me started on the washing of this. You know, exactly. AB, I see so many people out there washing their chicken. And they pop it in their sink. They turn on their spray nozzles. It's freaking going everywhere. I was cooking over 100 whole chickens every day from 1989 through 2001 or 2002. Basically every day. I worked in my dad's restaurant basically every day. And uh, you, don't, you don't wash chicken. You don't wash turkey. Get all your bacteria going all over your, everywhere. Clothing, hands, eyes. And you know, well, I can wash it with hot water. No, it doesn't work. I, I don't get it. I don't get it. I, I, I'm not even concerned about the bacteria in the sink. I'm concerned about bacteria from everything like splashing everywhere else. I mean, here, hell, I'd be all over coffee makers and knives and everything. You're done at that point. Anyway. That's the take on chicken. Okay. Alexa, how many minutes left on the timer? You have nine minutes and 20 seconds left. Only 20 minutes. She's getting there. She's getting there. There we go. Yeah, we're rocking and rolling. I'm almost ready to take the apron off. So actually, this is a pretty cool apron. I am, I am quite happy with it. Yeah, I, uh, I don't have any beer because I don't really drink beer anymore. So I'm not drinking beer. I pretty much don't have any white wine. Yeah. I'm not sure if turning this light off would be better. I'm not, let me see if I could turn it. It looks a little bright. Let's see if I turn it down a little bit, if that's better. Now, Ghost Jesus, I don't really drink much at all anymore. The most I drank is on this show. That bottle of wine. I do want a recommendation for the 5,000 subscriber club as to what bottle to get or open. And I think we're going to do that in increments. 5,000, 10,000, 100,000, and a million. Um, Stanley Cup prediction. 
I would say Edmonton eventually is going to wake up. I would want to pick Vegas, I think. I, I, I don't know how to bet against Vegas. And Colorado, too. But I think it's going to be someone out of the West again. I really do. Yeah. What is in a Harvey Wallbanger? I can't remember those things. I'm going to crack a window. I need some air in here. There we go. I should have done that before. So we still have a lot of apples left. I've got three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen. I've got eighteen more apples. Eighteen apples. Edmonton, Carolina. I would like that. Oh, so what I was going to say before I forget this, I realize a feature I have on these YouTube lives, I can bring somebody else in. I can add someone into the live. So I wanted to do this for the baking. I think it would be a really good feature, AB, if I'm baking cinnamon rolls, to have you on the live. You'd be right on the screen side by side, and you could speak and shout instruction and basically say whatever you'd like at that point. I have vodka, I don't have Galliano, and I don't have orange juice. I think that would be a very interesting live to, uh, to have you out there, double digits by the way, uh, bacon. So to those who are just joining, thank you, I should introduce myself again. I'm Uncle Drew from Uncle Drew's Kitchen. Um, you've come into a, um, you've come into a kitchen right now where we're baking apple tarts in the oven. Smell it, can you smell that? Beautiful apple tart. They smell them. They're right behind me. I don't want to open up the oven, let out the heat. Alexa, how many more minutes on the timer? Five minutes. Five minutes. John Cena, you can't see me. Um, yeah, I think that would be a great feature. Yeah. Uh, you know what? Maybe I can bring him in right now. Let me check to see if I can bring him. Get your hand out of your pants uh, just in case I click on this. Uh, let's see. Add. How do I add? Let's see here. Add. Add A, B. No, there's no feature right there. I've got to do it apparently at the start. Yeah. Definitely on the cinnamon rolls. So we're, we're just, uh, Absolutely. I'd love to open this oven up right now and take a look. Yeah, I think that would be a good. I think that would be a good live. Uh, I might need a moderator on the chat at that point as well. Yeah, we're getting close. I was thinking of turning this light off because I don't like the color of it. Let's see how that looks with that light off. Is that better or worse? Let's see what that does. Let's see what that does when that lights off. In about 10 seconds, I'm gonna see it here, I'm watching. Uh, it's, a little, it's a little darker, I don't know, is that better or worse with that light off? What do you guys think? And then I can crank this one up to full speed ahead. What do you guys think? Is that lighting better right there, that combination? Yeah, let's see how that light combination is. Yeah, I heard that goes Jesus. Uh, Brad or uh, English told me about that. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I don't know if that lighting is better. I turned off this globe because... So I've hit this before, tossing pizza dough up in the air. And with a boom, I hit the, I, when I came down hard once with a boom. Yeah, I haven't figured out the lighting yet. The ring lights aren't the best. These globe lights over here are not the best. I think I need professional, but I, I made a promise. I said, I'm not, I'm not spending a dime on any new equipment on anything until I know this actually works on YouTube. Um, and that's with regards to professional cameras 
lighting, uh, new new equipment that I have. Unfortunately, when I moved, I got I actually got rid of some of my equipment. Some of it I should have kept, but anyways. Yeah, we're almost there. Alexa, how many minutes left on the timer? She's not listening again. Alexa, how many minutes left on the timer? Two minutes, 30 seconds left. Two minutes, 30 seconds left. Then we're just going to check on them. We're not going to be done yet, but we're going to check. I was thinking of, uh, no, I'm trying to keep this as much of a family show as possible. I want more ladies to watch as well. Um, I know a lot of ladies out there that are bakers. And they love seeing these things. Uh, I'm trying to clean up the mouth a little bit. Try not to swear as much and curse. Uh, yeah, Canadian Tire. I couldn't make it over to Canadian Tire today. I, I, left, uh, I left the golf course. I played. I went to the grocery store, hit it up for what I needed. Uh, just a few items. Um, and then came over here and started. This is the second live today. Like I said, the first one was on around 5-ish, 5.30-ish, something like that. And we're in, somewhere in between there. And it went on for an hour. I think that one was right on an hour. Yeah. <laughs> Alexa, play some music for <laughs> Andrew. <laughs> Alexa, turn off. <laughs> Alexa, turn off the music. I've got the Google Homes as well. They're not plugged in because they were listening in on me. This one, she listens in on me as well. Okay, that timer's going to go in a minute. I should have I should have bought some milk. I refrained from buying the ice cream because I said, I'm not doing it. I'm not, I'm not buying ice cream just for one dish because put one scoop on there and then I'm going to have the other two liters? No. So I said, F it. No ice cream. I don't care if it makes the dish look better. Kip Cohen, great to see you, buddy. Uh, I, I'm not sleeping, I don't think, as much as I should be right now, AB. Um, I'm not actually playing as much as I used to, and certainly practice because of all the injuries I've got. No, now golfing, I, actually today was the first time I played in five days. I didn't play since last Wednesday, I think it was. Yeah, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, yeah. It was last Wednesday. And now we're running out of time anyway, so all I do is edit videos. I wake up 6 a.m., Edit, 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 edit until I golf, if I golf, and then come back, start cooking, filming. If we do a live, we do a live, then I go back and I edit and I fall asleep with the phones in my hands. YouTube, buddy, YouTube, Kipster. Um, for those who don't know, uh, Alexa, cancel the timer. Okay, she stopped. Alexa, set another timer, 20 minutes. Hang on, let me just, I'm going to look at them, check them out. Okay, those are, those are looking so good. I don't want to let her any more heat, though. Yeah, you too, Kipster. Yeah. Yeah, so for those, if you're ever wondering about stock trading, uh, it's not investing, it's stock trading, watching pros actually trade, and you can trade alongside them, uh, equity-alerts.com. Uh, is my buddy out there. Um, those guys are expert traders and you get to follow along and as long as you actually follow the rules, which means follow them, uh, you, you'll do well. But if you're greedy and you break rules, you're going to get bent over and spanked. you got timers. AB's got timers everywhere. Uh, do you guys want to see inside the oven? I can show you inside the oven real quick. Fast, fast. Now I did crank up the heat. I've got it at 415 right now, which I normally wouldn't do because I'm trying to trying to get the golden brown a little bit quicker. I will get out the cooling rack though. So I'm now down, I'm down three baking sheets. I, I bought a brand new baking sheet, about this size, gone. No idea where that one is. I've got, yeah, you know, do you guys remember the movie Under Siege, Steven Seagal, when he was locked in the freezer, and he said, whatever the guy's name was, he said, hey, yo, get me out of here, I got pies in the oven. 
Yeah, so uh, I, I, one baking sheet this size, gone. Don't know where it is. Two other baking sheets left in my parents' place. Uh, a big glass ball, don't know where that one is. I know it didn't break. I'm not sure if there's a thief that's coming in here and taking out my baking, my baking supplies. Uh, Equity-alerts.com. Uh, Kipster, if I'm correct there, just say yes. But yeah, I believe it's still equity-alerts.com. Yep. Yeah, so the way that one works, uh, Ghost Jesus, uh, these guys are pros. Um, they probably still have the free trial on there. And uh, you're watching them trade, like live, in real time. They tell you when they get in, they tell you when they get out. You're watching their charts. Um, and there, there's more to it than just in and out of the trade. Uh, but it's more or less monkey see monkey do it's never i don't think uh, a problem with the software the the software that i had started with with kip who was he worked at the company part owner of the company was called wise trade and that was going back all the way to 2000 when i started in there i think it was 06 uh, and i always stayed uh, true to this one it's not the software that's wrong it's the person using the software that's wrong these guys had manuals and textbooks. I went out to Texas a few times for their training sessions. Manuals and textbooks on everything. How to trade, the rules, the patterns, all this stuff. Well, if you break all those things, your probability of losing just freaking skyrocketed. Not saying that if you follow everything, you're guaranteed to make money. That's not the case at all. Um, but your probability of success is a lot higher. Anyways, so these guys branched out. They've got their own system, equity-works.com. I'd still be trading there right now, and, you know, but I, unfortunately I broke all the rules and I lost so much money, I said I can't, I just can't do it anymore. But boy, it was fun when I was making big trades, but anyways, that's the site. I would, uh, I would say check that one out. Again, equity-alerts.com. Yeah. That's right, the markets are always right, man. Fuck, don't I know it. It's the anniversary right now, it's October 10th. 2023, so exactly 15 years ago, the pounding of uh, BlackBerry, at that point, RIM, Dry Ships, Diana Shipping, and uh, there was a fourth one that just absolutely destroyed a lot of people. Yeah. It's more for me what, what did me in was options trading. Um, I seem to be right a lot of the time, even right now, still have trades going on, uh, not in options though, and I seem to be right because I don't have a deadline. And so I can still spot a trend up, down, sideways, but options mean you gotta be right by a certain day and a certain time, and if you're not right there, it doesn't matter if the stock goes up 50% after or down 50%, if that's the way you want it to go, you're done. So anyways, all right, I wanna show you guys inside the oven right now, because uh, if I start talking stocks, I'm gonna get a heart on again. You know, see, I can't say that, I shouldn't say that. I'm trying to keep it a little cleaner right now. Here I am talking about stock trading, and I'll turn on the other light. We're going over the bright freaking yellow globe lights here. Check these out right here. I'm gonna see if I can. I'm gonna see if I can pull it out. The pie. There we go. There we go. Check those out. Nice. Nice. Yeah, boy guy goes from stock trading to bacon tarts on a YouTube channel. You know what I mean? One of the top mortgage brokers in the country. Now he's freaking bacon on YouTube. I was just watching uh, Kipster the other night again, Margin Call. I'm sure you guys have seen the movie Margin Call. Uh, margin Call is so accurate. The big short, so accurate. The big short actually is going on in the Canadian housing market right now. It's getting worse by the day. Oh, it absolutely goes, Jesus. Absolutely. Yep. Alexa, how many minutes left on the timer? I mean, there are no timers set. I told you to set a timer. Alexa, set a timer 12 minutes. Get off your fucking break, too. I use, I use Alexa, and she doesn't even listen. 
Yeah. Okay, we're almost there. From what I saw, we just don't want to burn them. I'm giving them five minutes or less right now. They're so close. No, no, Kipster, I, I'm trying to stay away. I was going to have whipped cream. I was going to have the ice cream. And it's like, no, I, I can't. I just can't. I've been just filling myself up with so much crap. That just, just the tart. And I, now I'm regretting it too. Okay, let me check. Let me check. Ooh. September 10th. I don't even want to open this to sniff it. I think I'll just put it back in the fridge. So there's another place that I want to get to. I want to try since I talk since I talk stocks. Since I talk stocks, um, I want to talk about Cobb's bread. Cobb's bread apparently makes beautiful stuff. Cinnamon buns to die for. So Cobb's bread. I don't know if they're in the U.S. at all. I know they're in Canada. I'm not sure if they're outside of just. Ontario, if they're just in Ontario or where, but Cobb's bread. Uh, we could do the Greek yogurt on there. That actually might taste really good with uh, the cinnamon apple here that we've got. Alexa, how many minutes left on the timer? I'm giving her three minutes. Alexa, set a timer for three minutes. <laughs> no, I don't want to name the timer. Just set the timer. What do you want to call it? I don't want to call it anything. Just set the timer. Okay. I'll call it. I want you to call it in for a second. I don't know what she just said to me. I wonder if everyone's having timers set now at their houses that have, that have Alexis. That's hilarious. Yeah, still golf, uh, kept her not as much right now. I've just been going through too many injuries. It's been a rough 10 months, say the least. 10, 11 months now, say the least. Far too many injuries. My eyes are still not right. And I think it's got something to do with this ring light too, the bright light. But I've seen so many ophthalmologists and optometrists and surgeons and everything else. Baker Delight in Australia, New Zealand. Okay. So there are a couple in the USA. Okay, and that's Cobb's bread. There you go. That's Cobb's bread. Yeah, we're gonna try to do a, a live session with Cobb's bread uh, bakers and franchisees uh, with some coaching on that sort of stuff. Well, uh, Kipster, I'll tell you the arguments with Alexa. I throw shit. Why? I ask, she just doesn't listen. I don't understand. I just, I don't understand it. Uh, I think we need still, um, so if everyone who's in here has hit the like button, I think that helps the live session. Um, I almost hit the wrong button. I almost reported Kip Cohen. I don't even know what I'd be reporting you for, but that would have been kind of funny. Um, I think tonight we still require 16 more subscribers to uh, hit another milestone. Yeah, I don't know if we're going to make it, but uh, 16 subscribers more tonight. Uh, it's a tough, it's a tough climb, but uh, we're trying. I mean, we're trying. The baked goods are almost done. I'm going to do another check. You know what? I'm calling it game time. Off. I bring out my trusty Las Vegas oven mitts. All right, well, we're ready, I think. I think I'm gonna bring you guys in close so you can see this up close when they, when they land. Oh, I've gotta make sure that our battery power does not run out too. Yeah, I think you guys should be right here when they come over the oven. And we'll even zoom in a little bit. How's this, right about? I mean, the smell right now, the aroma, come on, from the oven, it smells freaking incredible. I think the screen is crooked right now, but 
it, it wouldn't be Uncle Drew's kitchen if we weren't a little crooked in here. Okay, here we go. People just scrolling in and out of the library probably wondering, what the F is this? I think we're getting in just in the nick of time. Alexa, cancel the timer. Anyone see my tongs? There's a set. I found a set. Smell a vision, wouldn't that be something? Fuck. I mean fudge. Oh, don't fuck it up now, Andrew. What are you doing? Like, look at that rookie move. I would, like, okay, seriously? Seriously? Why, why are you going to be a pain in my ass right now? This, this can't be for real. This, can't, this just can't be for real. Come on. There you go. There you go. Come on. Come to daddy here. Come to daddy. Come to daddy. Uh, I was there over, uh, is it Labor Day? Thereabouts, hipster. Uh, it was more of my brother's 50th birthday, though. I wasn't, uh, I wasn't really gambling. I say it wasn't really gambling. I still gambled a little bit, but nothing even to get excited about. Smell o vision. So now, key here is I have to let these things cool, right? I don't know if the lighting does those justice. Now, if these had cooled a little bit more, before I go in, if they had cooled a little bit more, I would add a little bit more of this. Now, I should have had a piece of parchment paper underneath. So I could have completed the design properly, but I was trying to be clean. Fuck being clean. Get it right. I think we could sell those at Cobb's Bread. So I'd love to try this right now, but I think you guys would know what happens if I try it. I would, uh, I'd burn myself pretty bad. Let's bring that back here for a second. Lighting is horrible. I don't like these yellow globe lights. Terrible, terrible lighting. I think I'm going to take the rolling pin to that thing. If they do, if they taste as good as they look, AB, I think we've got a winner here. Like, uh, I don't know how long I'm supposed to wait. I'm going to take a picture of that, actually. You want to burn the shit out of my mouth? <laughs> okay, I'm already down a few layers of skin, but I, it's nothing new. So let me take a photo of this, again, with a really bad lighting. I mean, they're kind of getting into the background here of how we film sometimes. You've got to get that lighting right. Try on this angle. Ow! Fucker. We go. I think I got on a little video. So we're good there. Yeah. So you want me to burn? I'm gonna burn the shit out of my mouth. But I could do that. I think we're pretty much ready to go here to uh, give these a try. I think. There we go. 
So, okay. I mean, I'm gonna, I'm gonna burn. All right, I'm gonna burn. I'm gonna, it's gonna burn like a son of a bitch, but um, some ice cream on there would have been really good. Yeah, I'm thinking, I'm thinking so too, Kipster, but I said I wouldn't buy anything until we made a success. Okay, let's go. It's okay, so you know what? It's got a nice hard shell, so I, I do like that. That's good. Here we go. This is the, this is the moment of truth. Fuck, what are you doing? It's hot. There we go. This is going to steam. Watch this, how much it steamed. Look at this. I'm going to freaking lose my tongue on that. Look. Can you guys see how the steam right there? Look at this. It's still going, and I've had it out of there for like 15 seconds. The video froze. Uh oh. Uh oh. Hang on. All right, we're back. We're back, boys. Give it like 10 seconds. Always at the wrong time, eh? Always at the wrong time. It always freezes. Like I forgot to replug the battery. No, there was there was no there was no boom yet. You guys got it just in time. Alexa, cancel the timer. In a sense, I was a godsend right there. That um, let it cool off a little bit. Okay, so we're back. We got video back. We got the video back. Yeah, always. I wonder how it happens. Okay, here we go. You know what? I I need some ice cream. I need some ice cream. It's too good. Look at it. It's too. Look how what? That's freaking hot. Maybe I should just turn into a baker and just bake. Maybe I should just bake. I should just bake. Like this is. Incredible. It's look how steamy the crust is really freaking good. Oh yeah, this is bad. I'm so glad you guys all stuck this out. And I'm so glad that you told me the camera was freezing at the most inopportune time. I'm going to bed happy too. This is really good. really good stunning stunning how great this is stunning um i would share if you guys wanted those i would share them yeah thanks buddy thanks kipster ab thank you sean bg ghost jesus everyone else that joined tonight so if we could send it via fedex i would yeah these are uh these are really good. I, I'm going to end up eating the whole thing, I think. That's really hot. Especially from the bottom. Yeah, if I could, I would for sure. Kipster. Whew! Wow. That's, uh, that's good. I think I, can, I think I can take off the apron. We're done making a mess tonight. right up there it's actually a good hanging spot for that all right tipster thanks buddy you have a good one too yeah these are uh these are excellent a good crust i think the right amount of cinnamon and nutmeg too again i don't measure too much 
I go by what I feel. But I, I'm not going to do it again. That would just be foolish. It's like you're going against the trend of a stock. You just don't do it. All right, if you guys have any more questions, let me know. But uh, we'll give it just a minute or two here on the live before we shut it down. I'm not going to lie, I need to sit down. Make sure that thing is still recording. And then we're good to go. It is. All right, everybody. I think that's about it. I gave it a minute to see if there was any more of a delay, but I think we're good. Thanks for joining. Thanks for watching. Check the easy recipe under the playlist. Um, everything pies. And uh, make yourself some good apple part. Apple. Apple tarts and apple apple pies. This is really good. Just imagine some nice French vanilla ice cream with this right now. Let me get that Greek yogurt. Try that out. Just a little bit. I don't want the healthy protein of the Greek yogurt to screw up the sugary, the sugary mess of the tart. I'll just leave that spoon there too. Okay, let's get in the Greek yogurt. Cool it down a little bit, I hope. Not the side of the. Mm. Great yogurt doesn't go with it. No. No. Great yogurt, apple pie. No, not a good combo. I don't like it. I'm still going to eat it. Don't get me wrong. But I wouldn't put Greek yogurt with apple pie. Just doesn't go. Mm. Okay. Now that's it. Boom.